What's going on, sneaker fan? Your boy Jake back with another video review here, man. Um, these are the Air Force One Tiffany's. Take it up here. Third party. They call it the Air Force One 1837. All right. Take a look at the box. There's a lot of drama behind this shoe, especially uh, the the resale prices that came up on this thing. So, which was absolutely insane. Afterwards, um, I tried on uh, the website, Tiffany website, and Nike, and got an L. Um, wasn't a big fan of them. I say, man, these things are ugly. And they're trying to sell these things for a thousand dollars or whatever. So I guess this is, so I know nothing about this shoe. So yeah, I just got to bear with me here, but okay. All right, so that's what it came with. Eventually the collector in me would end up getting the retail pair, you know, on the resale market or maybe on trade block. Cause I'm already getting trade offers for the stuff I have on trade block. Um, and someone offered uh, this particular shoe. Uh, but will I do it, Matt? Time will tell. So let's take a look. We got three laces, yellow, aqua, white. Let's see what they call this color. If they call it aqua. Let's see what we got here. Black multicolor. All right. So they're not, you know, what this specific color is. You know, here goes the stainless steel. Uh, it's supposed to be a full nugget, I guess. Right. But it's not. I'm not sure. Um, like I said, I don't know what the retail pair is supposed to be. I leave the plastic on it. You have the Nike Air branding in the back. Nice tumbled leather. Um, uh, tumbled uh, inner here. You have paper. All right. And we have Tiffany on the tongue. Uh, rope laces. I mean, not bad. I'm just wondering what the suede supposed to look like. These looking all right. Um, to be honest. I'm not sure if the, the black will be richer on here. Uh, no dream cell insole or anything like that. Nike Air branding, like chrome plated, silver plated. Not bad at all either. We got that aqua footbed. Take a sniff test. Doesn't have a strong uh, glue smell on it either. So the plastic ended up coming off. So let's take a look at that, the dig at the engraving. If I let it focus, and I'm not gonna let it focus. Let's put the insole back in. Let me take a look at the left shoe and then we'll call it a day. We give a quick 360 on the left shoe, see if there's anything different. As far as I can see, I don't see much different. Maybe the stainless steel uh, part in the back, little nugget in the back might be a, a tad bit different. And maybe maybe the new buck or suede, what it is, might be a little bit richer on the retail pair. But all in all, uh, not bad at all. Uh, what's your thought on this shoe? Uh, what's your take on it? It is what it is. Like, comment, share, subscribe. It's your boy Jake signing out. Appreciate you guys. Peace.